Absolutely. It's been working out for them. <laughs> Definitely. Um, and then uh, Shroomed and S2J, I think, just started teaming regularly last year. Yeah. But since then, they've become a force to be reckoned with. Again, that win over Team Liquid earlier today, statement victory for them, showing that they are in the top tier of teams. Yeah, but here we go, guys. Melee top eight starting off. This is winner semis. Yep. And we'll see. We got to imagine Pupat is a favorite here, but again, S2J and Shroom looking really good earlier. Yep. I saw S2J's Twitter, and he just, it seemed like I was getting the vibe that he was feeling good in general about today. So. Yeah, really great combo right there on S2J. Racking up as much damage as you can. Because the, the great thing about Pewfat is they take those few seconds just to jump an opponent yeah. and rack up damage so quickly. Yeah, they're extremely opportunistic. They take advantage of those openings yep. so well compared to most teams. Yeah, they knock somebody away, and I'm like, oh, we got three seconds? That's plenty of time for us. Exactly. Yeah. And S Fat probably gonna go down here. Yeah. Pew Fat, Pew Pew trying to save him with the dash attack doesn't quite get there in time. Yeah, great jab right there from S Fat with a quick save. Yeah, see, this is their opportunity because Marf is a floaty character, so he takes a little, a little while, you know, to make it back on the stage. Right. So that's their time, you know, to rack up so much damage on S Fat. For sure. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Pew -Pew, we talked about this earlier today when we we're watching Pew Fat as uh, well. Uh, Pew Pew just stays alive for so long. Yeah. But he's still in the fray, he's still doing work, still doing damage. But at the same time, he's keeping that stock. Yeah. Doing a good drop right here. Okay, yeah, he's still in stock. Ooh, and the switcher root Shroom is so good at that. As doing yeah. the, you know, the, the uh, character switch up. He's like, oh, you know, you're in front of me, but I'll just run past you. And oh, wow, that was <laughs> such a great option. Yeah. And what was so great about it is he covered that. And even if s went to the top, s was already waiting up there on the platform. Right. Just in case he recovered up high. Really smart stuff. Smart stuff. But yeah, great awareness. I think you see a lot of good team's awareness from all four of these guys, honestly. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Sandwiched them between a Sheik slap and a Falcon knee. That's not where you want to be. Yeah, and that's what I was talking about. You see the quick sandwich. It's like, yeah. oh, PPU was like on the ledge. Oh, let's jump him real quick. Right. Yeah, and they took advantage of that yeah. real fast. Yeah, man, both of these teams, man. This is high-level doubles right here. Yeah, absolutely. This is what it's supposed to look like. Yep. Ooh. Oh, missed attack. SFAT not doing too hot so far in this yep. game. And he might be going down again. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, uh, SJ, you know, it looked like, oh, why didn't he do anything? Yeah. It was a little bit unsure because Shroom was there. It was an odd scenario. It, was it wasn't. Scenario. He didn't want to hit his teammate. And they already have a lead. You know, you don't want to jeopardize that. <laughs> I like that he was actually, you know, going for those rapid jabs, even though he didn't plan that, of course. Right. But Shroon tried to, like, since he has him locked in with the rapid jabs, he could jump over him. Yeah, yeah. Hit after. All right, so, yeah, PPU and s on their last stock. Already at 90%. Oh, Shroom tried to do the switcheroo again, but PPU caught that. He's like, yeah, you're not catching. Yeah, <laughs> not yeah, this yeah. time. Ooh, yeah. PPU almost gets that spike. He's so good at capitalizing at those moments when someone gets knocked right off stage. Yeah. He's got that back part of the spike ready to go. Yeah. Uh, stage transformation, making things pretty difficult for both teams to secure a KO. Yeah. yeah. This is looking pretty tough for CLG, Ooh. but still doable. Wow, the oh, up tilt. So up tilt. From S2J. Definitely worth it. He ended up dying for it, but 100% worth it in this scenario. Yeah, this is not looking oh, man. too good right here for S Fat. S2J is moving right now. Uh oh, yeah. okay. It's moving and grooving. Yeah. SJ and Shroom should be fine right here, but they do have to be a little bit careful. Yeah. It's certainly not impossible for SFAT to make this comeback. Oh, oh wow. wow. What a pickup from yeah. Shroom. Completely ready for that. You know, Falcons do trailer, it's a two hit move. You got time. You see the first hit connect, you're like, all right, uh, you know, I know where he's going. Yeah, just in case he going. hits him with the second one, yep. I'm ready. Exactly. And that was great reaction, too. That was so fast. Definitely. All right, so uh, KFC takes the first game over CLG. <laughs> 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 All right, yeah, the Pewfat is so amazing on this yeah. stage. Like, despite not many people liking this stage for teams. Yeah, most people hate it for teams, but Pewfat takes great advantage of yeah. that pack. Yeah, and Marth is just so good on this stage. Yeah, in general, yeah. and especially a Marth of PPU's caliber. Yeah, it's not enough breathing room right here. Because this is an amazing stage for Sheik. Right. Yeah. But 
Falcon uh, pretty much suffers on the stage. Wow, got hit with the back part <laughs> of Fox's up smash. Yeah. Starting off pretty even. Again, we see PPU holding that stock. Um, SFAT has to do a better job, I think, of surviving in this set, though. Yeah. I love what PewFat is doing, right? Because PPU likes to stay back a lot, you know? He's that, he plays that support role extremely well. Right. And he gets a whole bunch of hits and knocks him right into SFAT, who's already hitting the other person, and he'll stop his combo or whatever he's doing right. to, to pass it right back to PPU, and then yeah. he'll pass it back, and then he'll go for the up air when they have enough damage. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's the sign of a really good teams player is someone that will literally stop what they're doing in order to help their teammate. Yeah. That's the awareness that you need to be a top team player. Wow! <laughs> and he died off he of it too. He blew up that spot dodge. Well, he My blew up goodness. right there too. Wow, we have a tight battle. <laughs> yeah. S2J already at 60% on his third stock, but he's making moves. Yeah. All right, separation. Oh, just missed it. Yeah, Great good fade back from S2J. Yeah. Uh, SJ, just right there, he has to get out of the center. Just in case oh, you know, he gets sandwiched. The target switching from SJ was great right there. Oh, and the, the get up attack. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't just yeah, ledge hop knee. Yeah. But, uh, Could have reverse knee him off yeah. stage or at least knee him the other way. Right. Yeah. And he does end up dying. Yep. Slight lead for PewFat right now, but this is not a strong lead. Great target switch from SFAT. Oh, an unfortunate SD. Yeah, Shroom kind of just falls down there. Okay. Oh, a great pickup there by the yeah, red Yeah, the up air actually kills. Oh, it looked like he could have went for knee, but then Shroom was still right Again, there. Again, yeah, kind of the same situation we saw uh, in last game where he just he opted to not get the edge guard in favor of not hitting his teammate. But I feel like there could have been worth it because Shroom was only like at 10 or something. Yeah, like yeah. I think yeah. I would have done it there for sure. Yeah. But, still, uh, tight battle, though. still pretty even yet. Yeah. Oh, oh my S2J God. Now gets, he gets clipped. Hit, he gets clipped with the front part. Yeah, now. <laughs> that weird angle. Yeah, and he goes down. Smashes too OP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that quick little two v one situation. Oh my oh God! My. Yeah, I was like, I was like, what's he it? doing on the cloud? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he has to go over there, has to try to save Shroom somehow. And uh, he can't do it. Yeah, now this is going to be real rough for S2J. Still doable, but yeah. difficult. Yeah, it's really hard for Falcon to save in teams. Yeah. Yeah. He, the, anything he does to save, he's putting himself in an extremely bad spot to yeah. do so. So it's not really ever worth it, honestly. Yeah. Unless you're a thing low percent. That you can possibly do if they're close enough is down tilt. Yeah, down tilt yeah. can work, but even that's super even laggy. That, yeah, it's really laggy. Yeah, you can get so punished. Yeah. Pretty much anything he does is going to get punished, but it's a matter of if you're a low percent, if you got a few stocks to spare, then you can maybe go for it. But generally, Falcon cannot really save that well on teams. But should be a much better look here for Team KFC yep. on Dreamland. Yeah, more breathing room here for SCJ to work his magic. Yep. You know, some platforms for Shroom. So then she could be a ninja <laughs> all over the place. Oh, got up a little bit too antsy there on the ledge. Yeah. Pewfat starting off pretty strong here. A lot of damage dealt already to Red Team. SJ was right there in the front lines. So Alright, they do the target switch. They're like, uh, SJ, you go in front this time. Great angle from SFAT to avoid the edge guard from S2J. Oh, and yeah, is going to go down. Yeah, he went a little bit too hard right there. Yeah. So that's the thing about teams, right? Sometimes it's you have to let things go. Like, sometimes K right. uh, KOs look so juicy. Like, oh, yeah. I want to get this oh, right now. Oh, let me get that. But, but yeah, it's just Ends up costing you way more than what you were going for. Yeah, because eventually you're, you're going to get the KO, right? Right. It's better for you to, you know, just stay safe. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And it's funny how teams work that way. You, like, you can kind of be a little bit more reckless in certain situations compared to singles, but a lot of situations you actually have to be much safer yeah, compared to singles. Unfortunate team kill right there. Yeah. A little bit of miscommunication from the red team. Yeah, Shroom already at two stocks, and uh, Pew Pew still hasn't lost one, so yeah, red team going to have to pull it together right now. Those pummels. Oh man, Ooh, yeah, they couldn't yeah. capitalize on that 2v1. That was big. Yeah, that would have been huge. Get that kill on SFAT. Yep. 
And that's the thing about PPU, right? Like, he'll go for a little bit more risk, because now he's at low percent. Right. Yeah. Yeah, he does a great job of changing his playstyle based on how much percent he has, honestly. Yes. When he's higher percent, obviously, he's going to start playing a lot safer, and it becomes very difficult to kill him. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. See, that's the, that's the recognition right there. It's like, okay, you have to pay attention to spawn placements. Yeah. It's like, oh, this is where the person uh, spawned in the beginning of the game. Right. So he should have just paid attention and then like, oh, he's right here. Yep. Let, let me get out of the situation. Right, he has right. invincibility. Yeah, a lot of people kind of ignore that fact. That's actually huge in teams. If you kill someone, they're going to be coming back any minute and they might be right next to you and they might be invi invincible the whole time. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you got to be careful. So this is a 2v1 scenario I was talking about. Yup, and now you can go for the ledge. And it, that was so smart from PPU too, because even though uh, SJ, you know, he tried his best, but it is, like we said, Falcon yeah. isn't the best at saving. Very limited options. He could do only like down tilt. Right. Stuff like that. So. Yeah, man. The, the, this is the thing about the stage, though, because. You know, it's Marf. Usually people want to take Marf here because it, it'll take them, uh, it'll take Marf longer to, you know, to KO. But right. he's teaming with a fox. He doesn't need to KO. Yeah, right? that's like, true. <laughs> yeah. And then you're giving Marf all this breathing room to do his amazing dash dance game. Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about this at DreamHack Montreal a little bit. Just people always assume it's a terrible Marf stage. It's not, it's not actually that bad. Yeah, it's you not give him bad, a lot yeah. of work, uh, room to work his neutral. Um, the, the biggest thing, I think, honestly, is that his sword doesn't cover the platforms as well yeah. as the other platform stages. But yeah. you can still get up there. You can up tilt through the platforms and stuff like that. Yeah. And then they also don't have a fox on the team. Right. So it's not like, you know, he could get up throw up air and yeah, know, yeah. still die, like, kind of early. Yeah. Like that. But, oh, Q man. Q-Fat going to probably close this out here. Yeah, unfortunate right there. He ended up hitting S-Fat. Yeah. Yeah. It looked nice like he wanted to go. Trying. Yeah. Double shine. Surprise! He didn't just down smash. Yeah. But you know they could do like. I mean, at this uh, point, uh, you, yeah, you kind of get to do whatever you yeah, feel you like. Yeah, you could just do like a billion things. <laughs> you could try yeah. some stuff out if you feel like it. Yeah. When you're in that scenario. <laughs> S fat with the with the green screen like. <laughs> little thing. Uh, yeah, it looks like towel. a little yeah, green it does screen look like towel. A green screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's see. Will they go back? That's a good question. I don't think they should go back, but they might end up going back. I feel like Battlefield. Battlefield be would probably be a better pick. Yeah. Um, I know PBU like Stadium a lot, so probably not Stadium. Yeah. Game one was Stadium actually, so yeah, Battlefield is yeah, the pick. So definitely, because they notice like you know PBU just you know his defensive game is so good. You know he lives for way too long. Yeah. So they gotta try to like shut that down. All right. Great setup right there by PPU, but couldn't catch that forward smash though. Yeah, not quite. Uh, ooh, no, accidentally I, hits S Fat. Yeah, and I like what PPU does, right? Is that he gets, ooh, tips! He gets a, <laughs> a bunch of these hits, and he just keeps doing a whole bunch of up airs. So then S Fat can see it and then capitalize and either hit him off stage so then PPU could get a dare, right. or he'll pass it back and then S Fat could get an up air KO. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He just keeps them in the air because then people suffer, right? It's Mark. You exactly. don't want to be above Mark. Yeah. yeah. Strong start from Pew Fat again. S Fat did already lose his stock, but they definitely have the percentage lead at this yeah. point. Yeah, and already uh, Falcon was such high percent already. Yeah. yeah. It's hard for Falcon and teams. He gets knocked around a lot. Yeah. You know, he doesn't have a lot of great options, especially out of shield. So yeah, like, oh. the, the quick options in teams are so important. The shines and stuff like that. Just the re quick reversals. Yeah. But Falcon pretty much has none of those. So he's got to just have really solid defensive play. Yeah, and... Uh, the power of friendship, man, is, is looking a little too strong right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. after after game one, it looked like a ton of momentum was going in S2J and Shroom's favor, but yeah. now we're seeing pretty much what we expected oh, this set to go like. And uh, he goes for a grab instead of, wow. Okay, wow. yeah, he helped him out with yeah. that one. Yeah. <laughs> Pew like, PBU with the alley-oop. Yeah, he's like, here you go, SUJ. SUJ. I want to help you out real quick. <laughs> it looks cool. <laughs> 
Nice room off stage. Let's see what's gonna happen. Yeah, there's not much S2J could do. PPU was doing a great job, you know, just handling S2J, making sure he doesn't save him. Yep. And again, look at this discrepancy between the stocks. Everyone's at two stocks, everyone's ragging damage. PPU is still at three, only taking 38%. Yeah, he's healthy right now. Super healthy. Yeah. And yeah, that's the nice part about uh, for SFAT, teaming with PPU. Ooh, oh man. Tips. He knows he can be a little bit more reckless just because he knows his teammate will have those extra stocks to take, you know what I mean? Exactly. It reminds me, when I used to team with Azim back in the day, that was basically my game plan was, I can go a little bit crazy, because even if I get messed up for it, Azim's probably got some stocks for me to take. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, PewFat applies that principle very well. Yeah. Oh, I thought he would uh, land right on the platform. That's Jay with a really good recovery, but... <laughs> This is a really high mountain to climb. Yeah, this is going to be real tough for Red Team. Uh, yeah. It's just gotten consistently worse for them since game two. It's probably going to be the end of the set right there. Yeah. I respect Shroom still trying this, but you're, it's not happening. Yeah. It's not happening. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, I actually love this. Wow. This is actually a real thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I have not seen that with down yep, tilt. and then up air, yup, wow. that's it. Yeah. I, that was beautiful. I've actually done that with La Luna a few oh, times. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you got to hit with like the, the tip of the down tilt, right? Yeah, yeah, so. and, at, and at the perfect timing from uh, Marv's jab, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, with the pummel. Those are actually, those team's wobbles are harder than they look. Yeah. They're definitely pretty difficult in terms of timing. Yeah, definitely. But uh, that was very nicely executed by PewFat. Yeah, and that was at the exact, he popped out at the exact percent to die from the up Yeah, for <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I don't know if that, that, that wasn't intentional, right? It just happened to be the. It just happened because once you reach a certain amount of percent. Then you just the, pop up. Yeah, okay, you okay. just end up popping out, yeah. But, wow, great job. You know, the power.